By the way, we could definitely get arrested doing this, right? Eight months ago, this door was not shattered. Anyone home? Dude, you're crazy. Yes! Another one! Another one! Got one, I got, got one. one. Check it, all the tanks are clean. The cichlids tank is crystal clear. Food or something, bud? Boom. Flower horn tank is also crystal clear, so clear that you could see every bit of myself. Hi, hi, how you doing? What is going on, crows? Welcome back to another video. That's the first time I ever did an intro in a reflection of a fish tank. But look at how clear the tanks are. Everything's cleaned, I just haven't put the scaping back to how it was in this beta fish tank. Clean tanks and everyone's happy. Hey there, little buddy. Hey, look how good the coral is doing so well. Arrow crab. What's up, dude? Except for you are making your tank like totally different now. He's knocking all these down, but there's no point of putting them back where they were because he's just gonna break them again. Or not break them, but like, you know, knock them down again. The 1,000 gallon pond. 1,000 gallon pond has fish in it. If you didn't watch the video, go check it out when this one's over, of course. But I fed them for the first time and I did film it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're both eating over there. This. I'm red too? Yeah. Look at that, look at that. Look at him swim, dude, that's so cool, the short body. Look at the hybrid, he's out. He's got no right fin and only one eyeball. It's kind of crazy. So the fish room is doing absolutely amazing. I want to ask you a question though. I know I've asked this in the past, but since we bought fish for this already, what else do you think I should get for the thousand gallon fish pond inside? I want to get mid or top water column swimming fish. So the fish doesn't stay at the bottom most of the time like a catfish. It stays in the middle and it constantly swims around. Something that's going to bring a lot of motion to this pond because it really looks like nothing's in it. Although once these catfish get bigger, they'll be noticeable. Comment down below what you think I should give for the thousand gallon pond. Guess what? We're about to fly to Texas and we're going to something I've never done before, an abandoned backyard pool that has a bunch of turtles, fish. I'll explain more once we get there. Let's fly to Texas. We're here, Texas, Dallas, Texas. We got a net. We got a cooler, we're trained licensed professionals, and we're here to try to get these uh, allegedly turtles and fish out of an abandoned backyard. I personally have never done this before. Brent, on the other hand, has been, I've done it. Have, has been here and done this. I've done it. We'll see how this goes. By the way, we could definitely get arrested doing this, right? It's an abandoned house, like completely abandoned. They got a pool back there. Kids being kids, they go put fish back there. And You're a kid. I am a kid. The, but it wasn't me. Uh, <laughs> we had called the city and asked if we'd go back there and get them. They said, theoretically, we can, yeah. but uh, if the property owner or homeowner showed up, then we're you know, toast. We're, we're, we're definitely toast, but they haven't been there in 12 years, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. so it is, it's abandoned. Going into an abandoned house today, got a net, like I said, got a bucket, and we're ready to catch anything that gets in our way. This is a full on boat right here, look. Dude, it's like a sailboat. I have never uh, done anything like this in my entire life. So Caferos, you and myself are in for something a little new. What does this say? I'm just gonna roll. I'm not even gonna cut the clip here. We're just gonna roll. Dude, that's sketch. Oh, you had to take that down? We'll put it back, don't worry. Oh. Oh. Dude, the back door is wide open. The glass is shattered. Dude, I, I would, I'd probably kill myself if someone came out of that door. Eight months ago, this door was not shattered. Every cabinet is completely open. That is so sketch. Anyone home? They know what's up, bro. Ramen noodles. Ramen noodles. Yeah. Bro, look at this place. Nope, nope, I'm out. I'm out, I'm out, nope, no. All right, there is, I mean, hundreds of minnows. I don't know if you can see them, but they're just littered through the water out there. And the water is pretty deep. Not even noticing, looking straight down. I mean, there's minnows all around it too. Look, there's a turtle right there, turtle. So there's minnows all over here, but it looks like a, just like a deflated football. Get it, don't fall in, don't fall in. Dude, you're crazy. Is it alive? Can take off. Is it alive? I don't know if it's alive, Brendan. <laughs> I don't know if the turtle, I think the turtle might be dead. I'm not gonna lie. Wait, let me see it. I don't know. 
Oh, so he's alive. He's alive? He's a big turtle, too. Look at that. What kind of turtle is that? I don't know. Yo, we got a turtle. We actually came to get fish, because Brenton was here the other day and saw a catfish. That was our goal, but this little guy was just sitting on top of the liner. It is so nasty in there, dude. He's low-key probably thriving in here, though. I'm not going to lie. We're going to put you right here for now. We will get you. Don't worry. <clears throat> there's probably so many fish under this, because there's water. I mean, look at me. I'm standing in water. <laughs> there is most definitely fish under there. This is crazy. Now, I don't want to be too loud, again, because we are, like, literally in an abandoned backyard right now. Look at the pool, dude. It is filthy. Filthy. This, Dude, that is some nasty, nasty water. Look at all that junk. Uh, you know what's crazy is this backyard has potential. It does. It really, you could keep some mini pigs back here. You could. This is a nice backyard. Just needs a little bit of, <coughs> a little bit of touching up. <laughs> We're getting in. Look at how nasty that is. This was a very big reason I flew out to Texas. I saw Brenton making these videos, catching catfish, catching, what else do you catch back here? Well, I, I He's caught those. turtles before. He's caught all sorts of stuff back here. I'm very, I'm very curious what's like under this side. I mean, look, this is the pool right here. Oh yeah, nice scooper right there. Yes! Another one! Another one! Another one! Dude, there's all sorts of turtles Bro, in here. there's turtles all in Dude, this Dude, he's thing. disgusting. Look at that. Hey, buddy. You are gnarly. Like, look at your shell. It's all algae. I'm gonna put you next to your friend that still doesn't want to go anywhere. He's been here the entire time. I mean, it's literally been 10 minutes since we've caught that turtle. It hasn't moved. No! What? Oh, I thought you got another one, dude. Oh. I was like, no way! He said two turtles. Now, I really want to try to net some minnows. There's bubbles. There's bubbles, 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 bubbles. So the bubbles, bubbles. Come from the bottom? There's probably another turtle. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh. That is disgusting. That's vile. Did I say disgusting yet? No. That's disgusting. <laughs> you want to get one so much. I got that one. one. I got a couple. No way. Dude, they're not even minnows. What are they? They're 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 like bait fish. Look, they're like mini like shiners. That's look cool. like feeder minnows. There's thousands. I mean, someone must have bought. Oh yeah. See that? Now when it comes to these, there's literally thousands in here, so there's no real point of taking them out. Just let them keep schooling. <laughs> but I mean, oh look, tadpole and tadpole. another fish. A tadpole and another fish? Yep. Look, we got a tadpole right there and another fish right here. All right, here you go, Tadpole. Don't think I forgot about you. That's crazy, dude. We got two turtles and three bait fish so far. They look like some sort of bait fish you would buy. Yeah. You know, like what Shiner Sam has? Yep. Check this out. We got two turtles. They have very, very long nails, as you can see right there. See how long their nails are? And these suckers can most definitely, oh, there's a red ant on him. You got it. These turtles can most definitely not get out of here. There's no way. I mean, the only thing they can get out is if they climb that tarp. And by the way, these are going 100% put in here as well. There's no way these things, are, is there even a body of water around here? There's a river not far, but I mean, there's a slight possibility they could have came through the fence. But I have okay, no idea, so I have no idea chances, how many are in here. The chances are very, very slim. Two beautiful turtles. I don't even know what kind of turtles these are. This one looks like some sort of slider. Two turtles rescued today, which is a big rescue. I'm so glad we got these guys out of here. We do want to stay here and look for a little bit more stuff, but we're going to put these in the cooler for now. Could very easily get a lot of minnows, but at the same time, they ain't dying. Those things are thriving. This this is never gonna really drain because there's just seasonal rain. Turtles and catfish, like bigger fish, is our main goal to rescue here. For over a decade, fish and turtles could be in this backyard. Brenton is in here ripping, ripping through. Trying to see if we can find any more turtles or any fish that comes out of there. All right, we're heading out of this abandoned place. If you guys like these abandoned videos and rescuing videos, make sure to hit that like button and we'll do it more. This is kind of a crazy place next to Brenton's house and we had to come check it out. We got two turtles to bring home and put into a pond where they can live a happy life. Happy Healthy. ever ha happy ever after. But this is an abandoned crib and it's super, super sketch. It's honestly kind of sad. And it sucks that there's turtles in here, but after nets and nets and nets, trying to get more, we left with two. That's as much as we could find and at least get for today. Goodbye the rest of the minnows. Goodbye any human being that might be staying in there. It's honestly free rent, so. <laughs> That's so true, it's a good point. I could stay in there. You could, there's a mattress too. I'm gonna do that tonight. All right, you have a great night, okay, all right? All right yeah, We're gonna bye. see you later. I'm gonna bring these turtles. Bye, see you, Brenton. Have a good one. I'm gonna put this right back over that fence. You're welcome. 
Good to go. Hey, what's going on everyone? How you doing? We have our turtles here and they're going into a backyard where they it easily could just cross your fence and go back into a pond again. Not that pond, but a different big pond. The lake. The lake. The lake. Or they could stay in here and get fed every single day for free. So they have the choice. The choice is theirs. Would you shut up, Gary? Bobby! Oh, it's Bobby. Sorry. Yeah, Bobby. I'll release one and you release one. I got the big one. All right, baby Gil. Let her go. He went first into a rock. This one just sits there, just yeah, that, like it did in the pond. That's why we thought he was dead. Yeah. Turtles! And they're both right there. So anticlimactic. Oh, one's moving. But yeah, we just relocated these turtles to this pond where they're safely chilling, vibing, living. Sorry, there's so much background noise. We got a Gary here as well. There's, wait, there's, there's three of you. Oh my gosh, it's impossible to film back here. It's imp oh my gosh, alpacas! We got alpacas? Hey! One of my upcoming videos is actually filming back here and you'll see that video coming soon on the channel. Make sure to subscribe, hit that like button. Thank you so much for tuning in today's video. Abandoned pool rescue mission. Check out the merch, top link in the description. I know this is like a really, not the really, the best merch to be promoting with. Hey, that's a coon coon pig. And these are alpacas. I'll see you in the next one. Peace!